Welcome to the Ridge Outdoors. Today we're going to be making a real simple woodworking project, the first woodworking project I've had on this channel. And as you saw in the intro, it's going to be a uh, plate carrier or gear carrier stand. Um, I've made several of these every time I make them for myself and then either end up giving them away to friends or for going away presents for people in the military that are either moving bases, squadrons, whatever the case is. Um, this particular one right here, I did not make. I somehow acquired it um, when I gave one of mine away. Um, I didn't modify mine a little bit different. However, I'm gonna make my style today. I make my arms a little bit longer and a couple of things, I, I make sure I glue up everything. This one's just bolted together pretty much. Um, I make my arms a little bit longer because the length I'm gonna tell you um, to make this will fit a 7.62 ammo can perfectly in there. <clears throat> the 4x4 four four, you know, gives it enough space where it fits really, really snug in there. Um, so really, you wouldn't even have to bolt it in there. However, uh, I still drill, I, I drill a hole on each side of the can and throw a tiny little screw in there just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Um, make sure you do that. If you have one straight piece of wood on this, because I'm using you know, rough lumber or pretty much uh, construction grade lumber, um, the legs, you know, you want everything always to be as straight as you can, but especially around here in Wyoming, it's really hard to find straight boards. But if you have straight boards, the most important part I would say is the uh, arms of this if you're putting these in. I've had one where I didn't plan on putting the cans in it and one of the arms was a little bent and I had to chisel and saw and sand the crap out of it to get, to get one of these cans in. But one of these, having a can on each side just gives you obviously a little bit of storage. You can put foam in there so you could set up magazines on the one side and have you know, something else on the other side, firearm, uh, you know, some kind of pistol obviously, something small, um, or any kind of storage you would want. So that gives a little bit more option and a lot of people like it. I'm not gonna do that in this particular one I'm building. Um, as you saw in the intro, this one is just painted all black. I know I'm gonna do my camouflage, um, at least some type of camouflage. I'll spray paint it one base color. I'll put either some kind of netting or a natural material, like get a big lot of weeds or just leaves, spray paint over it and it gives cool patterns. So I got from Amazon these multicam stencils. So I'm gonna try these for the first time to see how it works out. There's a couple different patterns. I think you're supposed to use each layers at, you know, as different colors. So this one has is, is the most dense. So whatever color you like best or whatever's gonna blend into your sur surrounding area, that's what you wanna use. And you have a couple other different types as well. So I'm gonna play with that. Hopefully I get it right the first time. If not, the, the good thing is you can just spray paint over a base coat again and, and try again. So hopefully that works out pretty easy. Uh, I'm gonna have this in the comment section and on the description. However, your cut list, you're gonna have one four by four as the post at 42 inches. The two uh, arms are gonna be 24 inches. And like I said, 24 inches and make sure you center them just right. And that makes sure those two ammo cans are fit, fit perfectly in there. I have really easy access to those small ammo cans. Uh, anywhere else it might be harder to get, but like I said, these 762 belt fed ammo cans are, are perfect to fit in there. And for the legs, it's gonna be 14 inches, and those are two by fours as well. So the legs look something like this. <clears throat> and I put just a little chamfer or an angle on here and on the legs just to, to give it a little bit nicer of a look. Obviously, you don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want. Um, but I'm gonna show you how I'm cutting this. I'm using mostly scrap wood for this, uh, luckily, because I had enough two by fours and uh, one, um, whatever the hell that thing is, a four by four laying around. So I'm gonna make this and let me know what you think. First thing you wanna do is just cut all your boards to size. Once again, the cut list will be in the description, but you need a four by four at 42 inches two two by fours at 24 inches and four two by fours at 14 inches the two two by fours at 24 are for the arms and the four two by fours at 14 inches are for the legs and then I just put a 45 degree angle on each of the arms each side of the arms and one side of the legs
Next thing I'm doing is gluing and clamping the legs on. I'm doing two at a time, throwing a clamp on there, and then I'll glue the other two and clamp them on. If you have big enough clamps, you can clamp all four of them on at the same time. You'll just have to do, to do a kind of staggering pattern like I did. Also, make sure you give it a couple minutes, 10, 20 minutes to, to dry and set up before you start pre-drilling and screwing the actual legs on and you can kind of give it a test to make sure it that it's level and it doesn't have too much wobble to it this one at the end did have a little slight wobble to it but it's still pretty sturdy next you're just gonna drill and then bolt or screw your legs on once again just make sure the glue is completely dry and set before you do this. Um, I'm using my new Bauer uh, impact driver. I'm a huge fan of the new Bauer line at Harbor Freight. Um, pretty inexpensive and I, I can't say good enough things about it um, so far. I use three inch deck screws pretty much to, to screw these legs on. I like having a nice long screw to keep everything in place. Um, if the glue doesn't hold, then the screws definitely will. Now I'm putting the actual arms on. Doing that, I clamp these boards so I can keep them nice and level and I can, you know, measure everything and it just makes it way easier to put it on. Um, just same thing, gluing it up and then clamping it on once I have everything nice and level and then recheck and level after that. Just like before, make sure you let the glue set all the way. 10 or 20 minutes or so should be fine. And then I'm gonna pre-drill and then bolt those in with those three inch screws. This is the first time I've ever used this uh, wood putty. It's like a plastic based putty. I normally just make my own out of wood glue and sawdust, but I used this for the first time. It worked pretty good. Um, I think I'm gonna keep using just my old technique of sawdust and wood glue, but this does work pretty good. After you apply it, let it dry for half hour or so, and then you can sand it off and you really can't tell anything was, was there in the first place that there's a screw under there.
once you've sanded everything, you can go ahead and do your base coat. Uh, I didn't get that on on recording, but uh, I'm just gonna spray paint pretty much to the base or the front of the legs and the arms. So I'm taping everything off to make it nice and neat. And now I'm finally using these stencils for the first time. And it turned out pretty good looking, I think. If anything, next time I think I would do the base as tan and then have more of the greens as the patterns in there. But all in all, it turns out, you'll see in a minute. Um, the trick is just keeping it nice and flat and really close to the piece of wood. It'll be a little blurred if you're a little far back. But uh, it was it ended up being pretty easy. Uh, I ended up using, I think, four different colors. So the base coat of the olive drab green, then like a sage green, tan, and brown. So make sure you pre-drill your ammo can. It just makes it a lot easier, obviously, to get a screw in there. I'm just using little, um, I had a pack of tiny fasteners from Harbor Freight, and I just use those to uh, screw it in. I uh, use the piece of wood because it just keeps everything a little bit neater. It uh, doesn't have as many burrs when you use that, and it, overall it's just a lot easier, and you don't bend the ammo can as much. This is where it comes into play if you have crooked boards for your arms it's not going to fit very well this one ended up going in pretty easy normally you're gonna have to finish it off with a hammer there i am looking for one there we go all right and you don't want to smack it too hard because you will bend it a little bit um so the side with the hinges of the ammo can if you wanted to saw those off you could i've tried it before and it's more work than it's worth or you could even route um the four by four out a little bit so they would just go in there um but yeah, then I just screwed those screwed those screws in the holes, and that's not going anywhere. This one was requested just to have one ammo can in it. I think it looks a lot better with two of them, but that was what the order was, so, so that's what I did. So here it is finished. I uh, ended up putting a bottle opener, but that's a plate with full plates, so it, ha it can handle that weight no problem. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.